tutorial on creating your first scene in ATXR game engine. In this video, I will cover how to use the navigational controls, move different objects, and share your first scene. Let's get started and click on My Projects button. Here you have the list of your projects, and I don't have uh, any scenes created yet. I click on my demo project on the left panel. The next step is to press uh, the Add Scene button and select a new scene from scratch. In the left panel, you see your scene hierarchy and it has a very basic setup created for you by the engine. The basic setup includes a player, uh, a plane where you start, uh, a few lights and a spawn point. If you look at the top panel, you see a scene preview button. If you click on it, the engine will open a scene in a new window and you can walk around uh, the scene you just created. Cool. Now let's explore how you can navigate your scene. You can use your keyboard and the WASD keys to move around. So W key moves you forward your camera direction, S key moves you backward your camera direction, A key moves you left, and D key moves you right. You have two additional key binds, uh, like key Q, which moves you down, and key E, which moves you your up. Your mouse can also help you navigate uh, by rotating camera and zooming in and out on uh, any object. Uh, you can rotate your camera by holding uh, at the same time left and right button, like this. So you hold left and right button and move your pointer. Mm, the next thing, you can place a pointer over some area in the preview window and use zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you can basically use your scroll wheel to focus on a specific area or uh, move away from this area. So the next topic to cover is how to move objects in the scene and how to manipulate them. I will use this spawn point for, uh, for an example. So to select a spawn point, you can use either the hierarchy inspector on the left and click on the spawn point, or uh, another option is to directly find the spawn point on your scene in the preview window and click on it. You can use transformation controls you can find uh, in the top toolbar and there are move, rotate, scale and focus. So move helps you move objects around. With rotate, you can rotate objects around different axes and scale can help you with changing object scale. Focus button is another very handy tool to find an object on your scene by focusing on it and moving your camera to, to the object. Another tool you have is your right side bar where you have all these properties like position, rotation, and scale, all these transformations defined with vectors with three different values for X, Y, Y, and Z. So you can change these values with your keyboard uh, instead of using uh, transformation controls. 
The next thing you can show and hide different objects by either using this I symbol or by clicking on enable button in the right edit uh, in the right panel. Finally, we will cover how to share your scene. Um, to to uh, open the scene menu, you can either click on the left here in unnamed scene, or another option is just to press escape button. <coughs> first, let's give your scene some name, and this, this will be my first scene. The next thing I want to specify a unique name, unique URL, which will be used for, for the scene. The engine generates a unique ID for you, but it's not human readable. So let's, let's call my scene, my <coughs> first scene. So this name is unique. So if, if we have any other scenes in the engine created with the same name, you won't be able to use it. Now you can click on this published button and your scene is ready. It is published with this name, uh, this short name. And if you click on the play button, you will notice that, uh, that the scene has the new name you selected. Uh, it is published. You can share it with anybody uh, who has a browser and he will see exactly the same content you have just created. That is all for this tutorial. Uh, we hope this video uh, was helpful in teaching you how to create your first scene in 8XR. Thank you.